Welcome to The Hollywood Scholar, I'm Jed Morgan, and it seems like we can't even go a week without getting some very strange news from Doctor Who and Russell T Davies. There's been a lot of weird stuff like uh, David Tennant, Catherine Tate returning, is there going to be three specials next year or just one, the 60th anniversary casting, and now we have a new piece of strange news, and this one might be the strangest out of all of them. Now, Neil Patrick Harry seems like he'll be joining the cast of Doctor Who for the 60th anniversary at least, maybe more perhaps. And I, I gotta say, I was very surprised to hear this news. Doctor Who doesn't normally have A-listers like this joining the show. It's very uncommon. Usually it's British stars only, and they're famous in Britain and not really anywhere else that really are the main cast of Doctor Who. But he's he's a famous American, and he's quite up there in the hierarchy of celebrity. And I, I just can't believe it that they got someone as big as him to be in it. And though he did appear in Russell T. Davies' It's the Sin show last year, so maybe that relationship between the two of them was enough to get this thing to happen. So right now we have little to no details. We've got this short article from Doctor Who TV that we'll be going through that breaks down the little information that we have. And yeah, this How I Met Your Mother star, which I love. Neil Patrick Harris in How I Met Your Mother is phenomenal. I love that show controversial i think it's better than friends but i digress so yeah neil patrick harris joins doctor who and yeah apparently it's currently set to uh air in 2023 as part of the 60th anniversary special i'm very surprised and we don't know at this point if he'll be appearing across from david Tennant, from shuda gatwa or jody whitaker a lot of the stuff that's going on next year is very tightly kept under wraps we only recently found out who the doctor was going to be so we we really don't know what's going on there there's a lot of conflicting rumors when it comes to what doctor who will look like next fall and i am very conflicted on it i can't say one way or another if i'm even excited for this new era there's a lot of concerning things but i do have to try to give russell t davies the benefit of the doubt considering how much good doctor who he gave us back in the day so very conflicted this news doesn't move the needle for me one way or another it just is surprising more than anything else if you had to force me to bet on what cast members would show up in the 60th anniversary i would never have guessed an american actor let alone someone as big as neil patrick harris he's a great actor don't get me wrong i would love to see what he would add to the series and i actually have a theory about what role he'll be playing based on russell t davies comments here below so russell t davies showrunner said it's a huge honor to open our studio doors for the mighty neil patrick harris but who why what is he playing you'll just have to wait but i promise you the stuff we're shooting now is off the scale doctor beware and based on that it definitely seems like he'll probably be a villain and there's only one villain that really Neil Patrick Harris could play, at least of a pre, pre-established pre villain, and it's a character that I think he'd do an incredible job at playing. My fan theory at this point is he'll actually be playing a new incarnation of the Master. The Master is actually one of the few main characters of the Doctor Who TV show to have been played by an American actress at any point. He was played by Eric Roberts back in the 90s television movie. So I wouldn't be surprised if he actually would play the Master. And I think he would do a phenomenal job. He's got that kind of craziness about him that he did in that series of Unfortunate Events TV show from Netflix. That I, I think that could make sense. Yeah, he's definitely going to be playing a villain, at least in my opinion. So I think he's going to be playing the master. But who knows at this point? This is some surprising news. And again, this doesn't really affect my excitement for the show. But it, it is surprising news nonetheless. But I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. Do you think this is a good sign for Doctor Who? Does it move it for you? Are you even looking forward to Doctor Who coming back next year? Are you going to watch Jodie Whittaker's regeneration special just to watch her burn like I will? And yeah, what are your thoughts on the Doctor Who fandom and the Doctor Who show as a whole with this news? But anyway, that's all I have for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Anon. If you like what I do here and want to see good, compelling stories that Hollywood will no longer give you, check out my book series, Odyssey of a Phoenix, a mythological epic about philosophy, morality, and modern-day mental illness issues. Books 1, Down in Flames, and Book 2, Apocalypse Then, currently on sale. Book 3, Kill the Dark, coming soon.